Straight Up Enigma's first ever episode, we covered the story of John Bonet Ramsey, a child beauty pageant queen who was found dead in the basement of her family's Boulder, Colorado home on December 26, 1996. Her skull had been fractured and she had died of asphyxiation. Her mother found a ransom note demanding $118,000, but no attempt was ever made to collect the sum. Her parents, John and Patsy Ramsey, were cleared of involvement in their child's death with DNA testing. No one has ever been charged with John Bonet's murder. To hear the full story, check out our first episode on the unsolved case. Now, 22 years later, new mysteries have appeared surrounding the beauty pageant star's murder. In November 2018, a woman cleaning a house discovered a shrine to Jean Bonnet surrounded by pictures of framed human teeth. Thinking it seemed creepy and very suspicious, she took a picture of it. The woman's friend posted it to Reddit, where internet sleuths flocked, offering their own opinions and theories about the shrine's meaning. The thread has since been locked by Reddit, with the most recent comment reading, this post has been locked as the question has been solved and a majority of new comments at this point are unhelpful. Thanks to all who attempted to find an answer. Just what that answer is, however, hasn't been made known to the public. In other recent news, 54-year-old Gary Oliva, who is currently serving 10 years in prison for child pornography, admitted to accidentally killing Jean Bonnet in a letter he wrote to a high school friend. I never loved anyone like I did Jean Bonnet, and yet I let her slip, and her head bashed in half, and I watched her die. It was an accident, Oliva wrote in the letters obtained by Daily Mail. Please believe me, she was not like the other kids. The letters were addressed to music publicist Michael Vale, one of Oliva's former high school classmates, who has suspected Oliva was involved in Jean Bonnet's murder for 22 years. The letters are the proof needed to convict Oliva, Vale told Daily Mail. Apparently, Gary Oliva has confessed to killing Jean Bonnet before, and authorities are tossing this most recent confession aside. The Boulder Police Department is aware of Gary Oliva and has investigated his potential involvement in this case, including several previous confessions, Boulder Police said in a statement regarding the murder confession. The department routinely receives information on this investigation. Information provided to the police department is reviewed along with the many tips and theories we receive. There are no new updates in this investigation, and the department will not comment further, this statement concluded. Although Oliva's name has appeared in Jean Bonnet's murder investigation multiple times, he has never been charged in connection with the murder. DNA recovered at the scene of Jean Bonnet's death reportedly does not match Oliva's. Oliva has made headlines three times since Jean Bonnet's death for claiming to have killed her, but no evidence to support his claims has ever been found. The convicted pedophile became a person of interest in Jean Bonnet's case when he was arrested while carrying a photo of the girl, a poem he had written called Ode to Jean Bonnet and a stun gun a weapon some authorities believe was used in Jean Bonnet's murder. A Boulder Police spokesperson has noted, Over the history of this case, there have been a variety of people we have looked at for potential connections. Mr. Oliva is one of those people, but we're currently not comfortable ruling anybody out as a suspect or ruling anybody in as a suspect in the Ramsey case. Do you think Gary Oliva should be charged with John Bonnet's murder? Find us on Instagram at Straight Up Enigmas or Twitter at Straight Enigmas and let us know. 
If you like the show, please remember to hop onto Apple Music to give us a five-star rating. It really helps the podcast. Tune in on Tuesday for a brand new episode of Straight Up Enigmas.